Okay, how you doing? This is technique of the month. So this month's technique is going to be the windmill throw or it's fireman's carry. Same throw, different name. And the variation I'm going to show you now is the dropping variation where we load our opponent by dropping into the throw. So, this is Riley, one of the best students. Remix, go down to the remix form. Okay. So, from this grip, okay, whatever grip we have, you can really do this with any grip, but what's most important, you can do it from this grip, this grip, this grip. This is the arm that's going to be entering along with this foot. So whatever your forward leg is, that's the entrance leg. And uh, I, I personally like the pistol grip because when you do the throw, you get a little twisting action and that tightens the grip around his wrist. But you can do it from any grip. My preferred grip is just the pistol grip. Okay, so before we do the throw, let's walk through the mechanics. Your entrance has to be deep in the, uh, beneath his hips. Okay, we're going to be getting a circular motion, meaning my body is going to be going in beneath the hips, which is going to push his hips back. At the same time, my gripping arm here is going to be pulling his upper body forward. So we're getting this, this kind of action going on. Okay, the bottom with my body, the top with my arm. When I go in, it's very important that you keep your head upright and not down. In case you do fail, he can always go for a choke. So, when you enter for any kind of dropping throw, same with shoots, you want to keep your head upright. Okay, so we're doing deep entrance, deep beneath him. Head up, pulling here. So now we'll do the throw, and then we'll talk about follow-up to the throw. Okay, after the throw, do not lose grip from this arm. Always maintain this grip, so he doesn't get away from you. As with all throws, the throw is not complete until you have a position of dominance. Okay, so really the throw is not completed right here. The throw is completed when I'm on top of him. All right, so we're going to do it again. Another factor, when you drop, the shooting arm should come up laterally, lifting him over you. Okay. I have my grip. We're fighting grips. I decide I want to go. I'm going to shoot deep. Do the throw. Follow up. Okay, look, still have the grip. Now I have more control. I didn't stop over there. So you use the momentum of the throw to come all the way through. In this time, I used a scarf, but you could just as easily go to cross body, go south, whatever you want. Again, before you rush for a submission, you should be worrying about control. So the first thing I want to do is have a nice, tight scarf. Okay? Tight. Head low, weight up, locking it here. Not keeping my forearm under his neck, where he can still put his head on the ground and bridge. I want to keep his head off the ground. So I'm actually under the base of the skull, keeping his head elevated in the scar. Okay, and my head is low, defending against any reversals he might try. So again, pistol grip over here. I enter and I pull. Follow up, stay nice and low, secure your position, then you can start looking at any of the available submissions from SCARF. Arm bars, you know, crooked arm bars, arm triangle, any possibilities, okay? Chest compression. There's lots of variations, but what's most important is that you control the position after the throw. So one last time, run through the mechanics, pistol grip, under, sleeve, tricep grip, even uh, epaulette, it doesn't matter. What matters is that when you enter, something is going to be pulling him this way. Just the grip, again, I enter deep underneath. I'm creating that circular motion this way, this way. 
Lifting him straight up and over. Maintaining my grip. And transitioning into scarf. Maintaining my grip until I have control. His head is off the ground. My head is away and down. My waist is forward. And I can go for my submissions. Whatever submissions here. Working for chest compression. If you can't grab your own hands, grab your jacket and lean. Okay? So, this is uh, one variation of the windmill or the farming carry that we like to practice here. Hopefully, uh, you'll take this and bring it in into your club too. Thanks. Thanks, Riley. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you later. Nice. I want to see my face in that. <laughs> Surprise throw.